In late 2015, Fiat entered a new sports car niche by launching the 124 Spider, a neo-retro interpretation of a classy roadster originally built between 1966 and 1982. Based on the ND generation Mazda Miata, the compact two-seater received styling of its own and a power plant based on the Abar 500. In early 2016, Fiat did what the whole industry expected it to do, it showcased an Abarth version of the 124 with a sportier appearance and a more powerful engine. But while the standard 124 Spider already made it to the US, the Abarth was only unveiled in its European specification, leaving North America to wait for its very own Scorpion-badged roadster. The wait ends at the 2016 New York Auto Show, where Fiat launched the 124 Spider Elabrazi in a bar. Although it is powered by the 124 standard engine, the Elabrazi is a sportier proposition to the regular Spider, featuring numerous add-ons that are not available with the stock model. The styling is inspired by the Eurospec Abarth model, while the interior has just enough goodies to stand out. While the drivetrain is as standard as they get, the chassis boasts many new components designed to deliver a more exciting experience behind the wheel. All told, the Labrazian was developed to slot between the standard 124 Spider and the sportier and more powerful Abarth. It might not have a scorpion badge on its nose, but it is more than worthy of the Abarth name. Hopefully Fiat is already working on a full-fledged 124 Abarth for the US market, but until the performance-oriented cabriolet arrives, the Labrazian seems to be a thrilling option if you're in the market for a compact roadster. Styling-wise, the Labrazian is a 124 Abarth without the scorpion badges and a few minor features. Up front, it sports the same honeycomb mesh grille, air vents with black plastic surrounds, a larger, revised lower grille with integrated fog lamps, and a matte black hood. The only Abarth features missing here are the scorpion badge and the red stripe on the splitter, 